Good morning, Kids of Faith. I'm Tegan Blair, and I volunteer here um, with the K through second graders in our Faith Children's Ministry on Sunday mornings. So I thought we would start off with a really fun game. Have you ever played Follow the Leader? Well, in case you haven't, it's a pretty simple game. Let me explain it to you. All you do is watch what I do really carefully, and then you repeat it. Got it? Not too hard. Go ahead and stand up and get ready to copy. Ready. Clap, clap, jump, jump, snap, snap. Alrighty, your turn. Ready? Clap, clap, jump, jump, snap, snap. Oh, you did such a good job following the leader. Let's do one more. Ready? Stomp, stomp, pat, pat, turn around. Ready? Stomp, stomp, pat, pat, turn around. Oh, you did such a good job following the leader. Nice work. In today's story, we are gonna learn about a person named Simon Peter. He's a man who followed Jesus, also known as a disciple. And we're gonna learn about a situation he was in that required a boat, some fish, following and trusting God. Let's go over to our friend Callie to hear about our story today. Take it away, Callie. So what do we do when we like a video? We subscribe. It's like getting to follow a person around so you can see them or learn from them more often. I want to see Baby Shark more often. By the way, did you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> of course you did, my friends. Oh, check this out. I have a new video message from a rocking cool friend. Hi, Callie. I'm learning so much by watching your vlog. I'm so glad Jesus forgives me and knows me, but is there anything I could do for Jesus? That's a great question, Cadence. Maybe today's Bible story will help us with this one. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn more about the disciples of Jesus. Disciples are people who follow Jesus, just like you follow a vlog or watch your favorite show. Disciples were people who watched Jesus with others every single day. That's right. Once there was a man named Simon Peter. Simon Peter was a fisherman, and fishing was a good job because it gave him money and food. Really? Did he go on boats and stuff? Yes, he did. But one day, Simon Peter had been fishing all day, but he didn't catch any fish. Oh no. Simon Peter thought he was done fishing for the day, but then Jesus came by. Jesus got onto Simon Peter's boat and told Simon Peter to head out from the shore. How come? A lot of people were following Jesus and wanting to hear more of his teachings. Jesus used the boat as a place to teach from. That's unusual. Yes, but what was even more unusual is that after Jesus had finished speaking, he told Simon Peter to take the boat into deeper water and put their fishing nets in the water there. Simon Peter told Jesus he already tried that, but he would try again. And when he did, something amazing happened. What happened? Simon Peter's net caught so many fish that they had to ask for help from another boat. The nets got so heavy, they began to break, and both boats started to sink. So Jesus knew where the fishes were? Exactly. Simon Peter knew right away Jesus wasn't just any other man. Jesus had to be sent from God. Jesus told Simon that instead of fishing fish, he was going to fish for people now. Do people live in the ocean too? No, what Jesus meant was that once Simon became Jesus' disciple, he would go with Jesus to tell more people about God. It's kind of like fishing, but instead of using nets, they would use God's word. Oh, I get it. Simon Peter left everything and decided to follow Jesus. And so did his brother Andrew and his friends James and John. They followed Jesus from that day on for the rest of their lives. So, Cadence, I hope that answers your question. Simon Peter and his friends had nothing to give Jesus. Jesus showed them that he was so powerful. He didn't even need anything from them. But there is one thing that Jesus told them to do. And this is something we can do also. Jesus wants us to follow him. Just like we follow those YouTube channels we love or those cool people we see, we can follow Jesus. 
Jesus. Jesus doesn't have a vlog we can subscribe to, but when we believe in Jesus and obey the things he teaches us, that's following Jesus. I mean, let's be honest here. Who else is cooler than Jesus? I love being a follower of Jesus, and I hope you follow him too. Speaking of following, friends, thanks again for following this channel and staying tuned to this vlog as we keep growing together. Catch you next time. Peace. Thanks, Callie. Our big idea today is Jesus wants us to follow him. Jesus performed a miracle by filling these nets with fish, so many fish that the boat began to sink. Do you think that if you saw Jesus perform a miracle, just like Simon Peter did, that you would drop everything and follow him? I don't know, that's a big question, right? But Jesus wants us to follow him and to make him the Lord of our life. Okay? And so that's what we learned through this story about Simon Peter choosing to drop everything and to follow Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for asking us to follow you. Um, we just love you so much and we want you to put it on our hearts to follow you in every part of our life and everything we do every single day. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, Kids of Faith. I hope that you tune in next week to learn more about our awesome Lord and Savior.